guys, it's Abby, and today I am here with a get ready with me type of video. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty long video. I didn't intend on making it this long, but yeah, so it is a get ready with me talk through chit chat video. Um, yeah, so it's pretty long. Grab a snack, a box of popcorn, something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, if you plan on watching the whole thing, you're going to be here for a while. So, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe so you can check out my other videos when I post them. And other than that, let's just hop right on into the video. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer and I'm going to apply a small amount to my lid and then I'm just going to dab it in with my finger and this is going to act as our primer for our eyeshadow. Next I am going to be taking the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette and I am going to be starting out with the shade Burnt Orange which is right here and I am just going to be applying that to my crease and blending it out. So after I bring that shade up above my crease as well, I'm going to take the shade, I believe it's pronounced Realgar, and I am going to start by applying that to my outer corner and blending it up into the crease. And then the next shade I'm going to be taking is Red Ochre, which is right there. And I'm going to start by applying that to the outer corner and working my way in. And I am also blending it up into the crease. And then for the gold shade, I used the shade in the palette called Primavera, which is right there. And I am going to take this brush right here. And so first, I'm going to start by using the brush dry. I'm going to apply a good amount first. And then I'm going to take my setting spray. It's the Gerard Cosmetics one. It doesn't matter which one you have. I'm just going to use that and spray my brush with the shadow on it to make it more pigmented. And then I'm going to take my blending brush again. I'm not going to add any new shadow to it, um, but with whatever's left over, I'm just going to go slightly above the crease just to make sure there's no transfer of the shadow at all, or any that got above the crease when I was applying it. And then I'm going to apply my lashes. I am using these from Black Magic Lashes. Okay, so starting out with face, I'm going to prime my face. Um, I have a mini of the Becca Backlighting Primer, so I'm just going to rub that in on my cheeks and on my forehead, a little bit on my chin, because um, I'm going to go in with a second primer in a minute. Okay, and then the next primer that I'm going to be using is the Benefit Professional, because I don't know if you could tell on camera, but my pores are ginormous. Um, I absolutely hate them. And this primer is so good, it literally makes them, like, disappear. So I'm just going to take a little blob like that. And I'm going to put it in the areas where I have large pores. So around my nose, on, like, my upper cheeks, and my cheekbone. I have some too, so, like, certain highlights, they'll, like, emphasize my pores and it, it's not good. Sometimes my makeup will like look cakey there because I have so many pores and it's not even like the makeup's cakey because I apply the same amount to like all of my face. It's just my pores make it look so bad. It makes me so mad. I hate it. So today I am going to be using my usual Estee Lauder Double Wear um, with my Sigma F80 brush. So I'm just going to apply this like I usually apply it. Okay, but the thing I love about this foundation is how 
like full coverage it is like you can still see the marks that were on my cheek like slightly but that was just one layer and it's like pretty darn close to being covered up which I love so much because it's so helpful for like times like now where my skin is going like absolutely insane and I really don't even know why either it usually gets bad like one week out of each month but it's not that week yet so like I'm not really sure what's going on here because it's been bad like this for like two months and it hasn't stopped so you know oh and then I am also going to be starting um Accutane I have like wanted to try it for a while but like I was terrified of all the side effects because I'd watched so many videos where like certain people said that there was such bad side effects for them but then other people said that there was like no side effects whatsoever so I like wasn't really sure like if I was gonna have bad side effects if I was gonna have good side effects like whatever so I like never really brought it up and I was just kind of like dealing with my face as like whatever you know and then it was like kind of like not awful for a while like three out of the four weeks of a month it will look pretty darn good and I thought I had like figured out exactly what like made my skin look amazing because like usually if I try something new it'll like make my skin look like decent for like two months and then it'll just stop working and my face will go back to the way it was before but I tried the um lush dark angel scrub and my face was good for a solid like six months I'd say and then it just went downhill all of a sudden for no reason. Like, I have absolutely no idea why it stopped working. But, like, I thought I finally found a thing that would make my skin, like, good. Especially since this one's not, like, a medicated thing. So I figured, like, with the other one, my skin had just gotten used to, like, whatever medicine was in the, like, creams and stuff. But this one is just, like, a charcoal thing. So I figured it was just, like, you know, all natural, pulling things out of my pores was gonna like be good and I figured that's why it was like working for so long but then all of a sudden it just stopped working and I really don't understand why so yeah then I got another dermatologist appointment because you know I absolutely hate how my skin looks and then we asked him about it and he said that the side effects aren't actually that bad but apparently really the only side effect that he's actually seen from it is like dry skin which like everyone that I've talked to about it has also said so like whatever and my skin's really oily so like dry skin for a change like can't be too bad and this video is definitely gonna be really long because I just talked through the whole like process of me putting foundation on which I usually like cut parts out of because it takes me so long and I also speed it up because it takes me so long so like this video is definitely gonna be super long but Okay, and now I'm going to bake my face. I'm going to use the Cody Loose Airspun Powder, and I'm going to use a dry Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Um, I used to use the damp one, but then I noticed that, like, the dry one, I think it, like, applies the powder, like, more, and I can, like, get more on, and, like, I don't know, I just find it easier with it dry. I know a lot of people, I think most people actually use a damp beauty blender, but for some reason, this just works so much better for me. I don't even know why, but it just does, so I'm going to go with it. Okay, now I'm going to take the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and I'm going to bronze up the cheek area. Okay, and then I'm just going to bronze up the top of my head. I'm going to drag it underneath the contour or the bronzing on my cheek. Not really a contour. 
just gonna drag it underneath to like sharpen it up and make it like perfect. And I'm just gonna drag it more that way. I'm gonna do the same on this side. I always like get it in my ears. While I am waiting for that to be done, I'm going to take my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush and I'm going to apply that to my cheek. Um, and then I'm just going to, I'll start at my chin, I'm just going to brush away the powder. So now we're going to go back in with the Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I'm going to take the brush that the palette came with, and I'm going to take this side of it, and I'm going to dip it into red ochre and tap off the excess. And I'm just going to bring it down. And then I'm going to take this brush again that we applied the glitter with and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner okay that's not as like shiny as I want it to be um since the Gerard Cosmetics setting spray like it doesn't burn but it kind of like stings a little bit makes my eyes water I'm not going to put that in the inner corner so I'm going to use the Mario Badescu rose water spray because it's still like a spray and whatever and it's less harsh so it'll still make the color pop Oscar's like watching me apply my makeup he's gonna be like a pro makeup artist after seeing me do this so many times okay that would actually be so cool if like I could have him as my assistant and he could walk around like with my brushes like on his back that's actually a brilliant idea. Like, how lit would that be? I'm, like, only half kidding, too. Because, like, anyone who, like, actually knows me knows that I'm literally obsessed with him. Like, we got him in November. I think we got him November 13th. And I've been, like, obsessed. Like, even before we got him, like, we knew we were going to get him. Because he's from a breeder. And so... We were like waiting for them to be born and then we were waiting until like the day that we could come visit them and pick out which one we wanted and then we were waiting finally for the day that we could take him home and oh my god he was tiny when we took him home um he was like so small and like looking back on pictures from the day that we got him to like now he's like a monster compared to like what he first looked like so we'll start with eyelashes because we're just working on the under eye. So I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous. I love how I use it so often yet I still forget the name every time I say it. Okay, so ignore the fact that I'm talking in this. Um, I was just blabbering about something that wasn't even relevant to the video. So I just turned the volume off and sped it up to keep this video from being like an hour long. But I am using a CoverGirl Clear Mascara as eyebrow gel to keep my eyebrows in place. And then I am using the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Eyeliner to line my upper waterline. So next we're going to apply highlighter. Favorite part is the Ulta Illuminating Powder in the shade Yellow Diamond. We're going to take a big, a lot of it, and setting spray. Um, next I'm going to set my face and then I'm going to move on to lips. So like I said, hour long video, <laughs> my bad. Um, I got a new scent. So the other one was grapefruit and this one is peach. It doesn't necessarily smell as realistic as the grapefruit one, but I still like it. So, okay, I'm gonna use the same one that I always use. I think this goes best with this current look. Oh, I forgot to tell you what it is. Um, it's the ColourPop 
Ultra Satin Liquid Lip in the shade Magic Wand. So, <laughs> I changed my clothes, obviously, but that is it for this video. I know it was super long, so I'm not going to make the outro, like, long. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, even though it was, like, a day long, practically. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!